Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a favorite brushes video. So pretty much I'm going to tell you my like go-to brushes that I've been using literally forever and I use them pretty much every single time I do my makeup, literally every single time. And just tell you why I love them. So let's jump right in. First brush is not like a good brush, I guess, kind of. Maybe like the brand. It's a rated brush. Okay? Don't hate. Just because it's Rite Aid doesn't mean anything. It's literally the best powder brush I have ever used. Like ever. And I've tried a bunch. Like I have the Real Techniques powder brush. Like I have so many brushes over here, it's ridiculous. But I have had this Rite Aid brush forever. Probably since I was like 16. <laughs> I know. Is that gross? Oh well. <laughs> what are these called? The bristles? The bristles are so soft. It's ridiculous. And it's like the perfect amount of like um, pinched together but separated at the same time. So the product, it picks up product great but then it distributes it great also. So I don't know, I just love this powder brush. It's so soft. Like the Real Techniques, I don't really like this one that much because it's kind of like hard on the skin when you press like powders into your skin. When you dust away your translucent powder, it kind of is like rough on the skin. This one is so much softer and I just, I love it. I know it's like crazy that I don't have like a high-end um, powder brush but girl this was probably like maybe like $12 I rated I don't even know if they sell these brushes anymore I'm gonna look for you guys I'm gonna try my best to find these but I found these and it was like a great steal and they're my babies like literally my babies so yes this is the first one I love my powder brush don't hate on rated okay Next is the foundation brush that I've been loving lately. I used to be just like a sponge girl, okay? Like I never used brushes to apply my foundation. I just don't know why. I've had this brush forever and I just, it's not like my go-to, I guess. But now it is because I love to use this brush with the new Fenty foundation. I don't know what it is, but I literally, like this brush is insane. This is the Morphe M439. I know like a bunch of people probably really, like rave about this brush, but I'm telling you, this is so good with more like liquidy foundations. I don't know why, but it's so much better with more liquidy foundations. I've noticed that. And it's affordable. I believe it's probably like, I'm going to take a random guess here, okay? Maybe like eight to ten dollars. It's a total guess, but yeah, I've had this sucker for a long time, and I've only used it like a couple times, but I'm back on the bandwagon of it because I'm obsessed with it. It is that good. Next is my bronzer brush, and I used to use the Real Techniques blush brush, blush brush, <laughs> blush brush for my powder bronzer, but I don't use it anymore because I found this bad boy in my BoxyCharm one time. It was in the September BoxyCharm, and this is by the brand Royal and Lang Nickel. Holy crap, that is like a ton twister. But it's the Moda Pro, I guess, and it's the pointed blush brush. Apparently I like using blush brushes for my bronzer. Not sure why, don't ask me why, I have no idea. But it just fits perfectly right here and you can just see like a nice kind of sharp line. I don't like that too sharp of a line but I like it to be able to see a difference and it fits perfectly on my forehead. It is just perfect and it's so soft. It's not too like dense but it's not too fluffy so it like applies the product wherever you put the brush where you want it to go which that's what you want in a brush. This is the Flower Beauty brush. It has no name on it, I swear on my life. There's no name, not even on the bottom. I'm pretty sure Flower Beauty doesn't have too many brushes where like you can't find this, but they definitely still have it because I have seen it in Walmart, select Walmarts, but I will link it down below. It's just like perfect. Like right here, you can just see it applies it gorgeously and this is how I apply it just like this on my cheeks like right in this little apple of my cheek it's 
perfect. Picks up product like crazy. As you can see, it's literally like stained pink. I've cleaned it like 800 times. I really like her bristles. They're really soft, but they're like not too soft. They are definitely more on the softer side and they just, it's gorgeous. Perfect blush brush. So then onto my highlighting brush. You guys probably can guess this one too. Anastasia A23. Probably didn't even have to look at the name. I've used it every single day. I love this brush. I know it's expensive. It's like $25 I think. But girl that is so worth it. I use it every single day. Every single day I do my makeup. I never have tried another highlighting brush. I don't want to try another highlighting brush. This is my highlighting brush because look at it. It fits perfectly. Applies highlighter gorgeously on the forehead, on the nose, Cupid's bow, chin if you wanna, shoulders, collarbones, anything. It picks up the highlighter crazy where sometimes I literally have to tap it off because it applies like it, it so much but it blends it out gorgeously the bristles are so soft but like it's I just love the shape of this honestly I think that's why I love it so much because it picks up so much product without having to like waste product and it also just the shape it's it's the perfect shape for a highlighting brush. Eyebrow brush, I've used one and I will never try another one. That is also the Anastasia 12. This is what it looks like. It has a spoolie on the bottom and then like it's the very tiny slanted bristles on the top. It's so perfect. Like, let's just take a minute and look at these brows. They're improving every day. I know. I used to have wonky ass brows, okay? I will admit that. They used to be wonky. But now I'm getting a little better, you know, starting to get a different shape, blending the front. Yes. That's all because of this brush. It's just perfect. The spoolie is perfect. The brush is so precise that you can get like any little crevice in your brow. It's perfect. Can I say enough? Now onto eye brushes. So the one that I use for like my main like transition shade is the Morphe M511. This is like a more bigger, fluffier, this is the fluffiest brush I have for my eyes. This is huge, but it blends your transition shade gorgeous. It is so soft. I love Morphe brushes. I think all of my eye brushes are Morphe except for three. They're not too expensive. These are pretty affordable. Just the only thing that sucks that I hate that Morphe does is that you have to pay for shipping 24-7 unless you spend like $100. Who's going to spend $100 on brushes in one, in one day? Please tell me who because I won't. I refuse. So this is my favorite transition shade brush. <laughs> Next on to more of blending, making your eyeshadows look seamlessly blended together, no harsh lines, I have these two brushes. This is the Morphe E27. This is more of like her elite collection, I believe. This is the perfect shape. It's a, like a really fluffy circle, but it's not like too packed together, but not too loose. And it like, it's not like floppy. I hate when brushes are floppy. It really just, it's perfect. As you can see right here, it'll blend the colors together, wing it out a little, and it works perfectly. Bristles just as soft. And I love her handles, honestly. This goes from a little fatter to a pointier end, and I really enjoy that about these brushes, like in her Elite collection. I think that's what it's called, Elite Pro. I have no idea. This one is the Morphe M433. This is a little flatter if you face it this way, and then it's a little more domed and skinnier if you face it this way. So for this brush, I mainly use this to blend colors together. So I actually use this for this eye tutorial. If you're wondering... How I got this eye makeup, I will link that down below. I do have a tutorial on it. And everything that I'm wearing, like earrings, how I did my hair. I think I'm going to do a tutorial on how I did this hair because I feel like I'm going to have a lot of questions. Maybe not, but if I do, I will definitely do it. And like everything, like clothing, everything, down below. But anyways, I used this today to blend these two colors together and it just looks so stunning. This blends shadows like no other. And I really like the like using like the more flat side to just get in the crease and then I switch it and then it disperses the product like the brown color up. 
so it blends in with more of the transition shade a little easier so that's why I love this brush and then on to like packing colors on so for more matte shades like a smoky eye like this I like to use the morphe m210 it's very flat as you can see like it's very flat but it does have like a little bit of a width to it so I guess it picks up product a little easier and blends it a little easier on your lid so that's what I use today to blend out like this brownish purple shade it definitely like that's what I love to use this brush for and then on to like what I use for more like glitter eyeshadows that I want to go on my lid like a half cut crease maybe um, anything like concealers, anything, I use the Morphe M421. As you can see, this one is a little smaller than the first one I just showed you. This one picks up shimmery eyeshadows really nicely. I'll just glide it across a shimmery eyeshadow and apply it to my lid, and it's more precise just because it's smaller and it's more dense. So that's why I love this one. And then I have one, two, three, four left, so hopefully this is not too long. So what I use for my lower lash line, like to blend eyeshadows, like today I did the smoky effect right here. Like this is a perfect brush. This is the Real Techniques shading brush. The bristles are very short and dense and together, so it picks up product a lot and disperses it really well where you want it to go. It's not more of like a blending brush, it's more of like get the product on there and then take more of a fluffy brush like this and blend it out. So this is what I use for my lower lash line a lot. What I use for like my nose highlight and my brow bone highlight and my inner corner highlight is the Morphe M560. This is the perfect pencil brush, honestly. I don't know why I like longer bristle, bristle, bristles on pencil brushes. I have a shorter one, but I just feel like it doesn't pick up enough product. So I like this one for highlighting the nose like this. I do the circle bring it in here and do my eyebrow and it's just the perfect size and it picks up highlighter honestly really nice i don't really know what else i would use this for but that's what i use it for and then what i use to contour my nose i know today it's a little wonky looking but i use the real techniques deluxe crease brush so it's a little fatter as you can see. It's definitely like a very tightly packed round end and it just fits the side of my nose literally perfectly. Like as you can see right here, do the little circle, do the sides, slim it up a little and then I even do this underneath my chin to make it look like my lips are a little bigger than they are. I'm cheating, I know. And then lastly, what I use with glitter glue or um, concealers to create like a half cut crease or like a really defined line in my shadow, anything like that, I use the Flower Beauty L01 brush. This is a very tightly packed like little pencil brush too, but it is a little wider. So it definitely picks up like that glitter glue or concealer really nicely. And it's so precise, you can create a sharp line. So yeah, this is the last brush. Those are my, pretty much like my go-to, holy gal, holy gal. Those are my go-to holy grail brushes. Like, I know some of them are a little wonky. Oh well, they work for me, honey. They work for me. And they're mostly affordable, honestly. Like, I don't have a lot of, like, high-end brushes. Honestly, I don't think I have any high-end brushes. Except for, like, the Anastasia's. Yeah, I don't have like MAC, Tarte, nothing like that. I am going to try out a few Tarte brushes, hopefully soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this, gave you a little idea of what I use for my brushes. If you're looking for new brushes, these are affordable. I will link them all down below for you guys. If you guys have any questions, just let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. We are so close to 2,000 subscribers. Who is ready for the giveaway? Because I am. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye guys.